Carol Marinovich. Hey, how are you? Good to see you again. How are you? <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I would like to thank Junior Achievement for this award and, of course, to uh, share the evening with such distinguished people such as Tom Bowser and the late Jack Lockton is truly an honor for me. Um, I'd like to begin by recognizing some very special people who are here with me this evening. And of course, I have to start with my soulmate, Ernie Johnson. <laughs> you know, when you're bringing about change, my husband was supportive of going for a speedway. He had no idea what a speedway was. But because I believed in it and he believed in me, he was supportive of it for, from the very beginning. So I have to admit, for Valentine's Day then, the following year, I took him to the Daytona 500 in, uh, of course, in Daytona, so that he could see what he had been supporting for a year and a half. Um, but that's the kind of support system that I had at home. And uh, also with me, uh, members of my family are my uh, brother-in-law, Jerry, and his wife, Barb. And, <laughs> and after I left office, I joined a new family. You know, I didn't know what I wanted to do after I left office as a mayor. But one thing I wanted to do, made sure is wherever I worked, in whatever capacity, it had to be a for, for a company that had a great work environment, that believed in giving back to the community. And I have to say, I found that a thousandfold with Fleischman Hillard. And here, a good friend of mine from Fleischman Hillard is with me this evening, Jan Rasmussen. Thank you, Jan. <laughs> and the next person I'd like to introduce is someone who will tell you, be careful what you uh, volunteer to do. In 1989, when I ran for city council, by odd, the oddsman, I wasn't given a chance of making it through the primary. Needless to say, that made it very difficult to get anyone to work on your campaign. But I had one person, since I couldn't find a campaign manager, a very dear friend volunteered to do it, even though she had never worked on a campaign before. And I have to say, I was so fortunate finding someone who threw the 16 years together. Her three month stint lasted 16 years. Um, <laughs> and she would walk over hot coals for me, and that's Kathy Moore. Thank you, Kathy. <laughs> now, in the past 10 to 12 years, Kansas City, Kansas, and Wyandotte County has undergone an amazing transformation. And as the video showed, it all truly started with the consolidation of our city and county governments into one unified government that created a single vision for a community, where we wanted to be one year, five years, 10 years from uh, then. The story of consolidation is a story that exemplifies how people in a community can truly make a difference. It started at the grassroots level and partnering with political officials and the business community, it came about. You know, interesting, when you see the story of uh, consolidation, it's a regional story. The business community of Kansas City, Missouri had to invest in over half of that campaign. And I remember a member of the uh, civic community on the Missouri side of the state line came up to me afterwards and said, I was surprised you were able to pull that consolidation off. And I asked him, well, why did you invest in the campaign? And his response was, we just wanted to give you a fighting chance. That says so much for the Kansas City business community on them wanting to improve all parts of this Kansas City region. Consolidation happened because of that vision for a community, the passion that so many people brought forward, that commitment. You know, with the main spokesperson at the grassroots level for consolidation was a gentleman with a speech impediment who was afraid of talking in public. But I bet he made 10 to 15 presentations a, a week because he believed in it so strongly. And the strong, those strong partnerships and taking risks were all necessary in bringing about the consolidation of two governments. And that consolidation laid that solid foundation for the development that was to occur. The Kansas Speedway and Village West development required the same attributes, vision, seeing the possibilities for an area. 
and the passion, believing in it, uh, the vision so strongly to create a destination. You know, yet today I'm asked the question, do you, did you really imagine what would happen next to the Speedway would really happen? And surprisingly, my response is yes. Now, I must admit, back then when we started it, I was probably too, uh, too afraid to believe otherwise and thought it had to happen. I was telling everybody it had to happen. And so I just couldn't think anything but yes, it would all happen, creating that destination in order to bring amenities to the residents of my community. And, you know, and a commitment by so many. You know, it was very controversial in the financing of Kansas Speedway. You know, we had a meeting with four to 500 residents and the potential of using eminent domain, which is a very controversial topic, and using it potentially in working with a private entity. But we walked out of that meeting with a unanimous vote from the governing body. I was so fortunate to have such a strong governing body with me when we went from consolidation and moving for uh, the Kansas Speedway in the vision of Village West. We all shared in it, were committed from the beginning to the end, and worked together as a team. I kind of describe my time as mayor as the time when all the stars lined up. We had the right person in at the state level and Governor Graves at the time. We had strong support from our business community from the regional perspective. And there was a very strong governing body in place. You know, and strong partnerships, not just between the governing body, but with our staff and with the businesses whom we went out to try to bring to Village West. In working with Kansas Speedway, I felt very co confident during the negotiations when Lisa Kennedy uh, and I would be in a room when we kind of hit a few hurdles along the way, and we would agree to something. A handshake meant a lot throughout that process. Sometimes, and no offense to the lawyers here, we had to bring both of our legal teams in the room saying, we agreed on it, now you guys work together on making that wording happen. And risk taking. We weren't quite sure how we were going to work out all the details, but time was of the essence. It was an opportunity that didn't come around every day. We would have to work out all the details later. So as a result, Kansas City, Kansas, Wyandotte County is now a destination. Who would have thought of that in 1995? <laughs> Changing the... Changing the form of local government, successfully attracting the Speedway, and creating the Village West were not easy tasks. They could not have happened without strong leadership, clear vision, partnerships, passion, commitment, and risk-taking on the part of so many individuals. And I'd like to share this award with all of them, from the Grandfathers of Consolidation to uh, the rest of the governing body and to the business community who also helped us every step of the way. I'd like to leave with you a quote by Joel Barker, the author of Future Edge. Vision without action is a dream. Action without vision is simply passing time. Action with vision is making a positive difference. Thank you very much.